Concern tonight in Bellevue after the Environmental Protection Agency notified 125 property owners that their property may be contaminated with a carcinogen known as PCE and its byproduct TCE. This afternoon, the EPA held a meeting with worried residents, but as reporter Phil Bergman found out, it had some leaving with more questions than answers. This has been one of my gardens for four years. I uh, just, we actually just before winter tore everything out. Christian Farland and her family called this place home. We just had a checklist of things that we wanted and it met those. On Monday, she got an unexpected letter in the mail. I got really concerned because it was from the EPA. Her house is potentially contaminated with a dangerous chemical. We don't know what we have been breathing in for the last four years. I mean, and there are other people who have lived here way longer than we have. According to the EPA, around 1995, the former carriage cleaners went bankrupt. And over the following years, its toxic waste stopped getting disposed of properly. Nearly 30 years later, its new owner tested the soil and let the EPA know of its issues. We've been aware of contamination out here since 2017. Michael Davis is with the EPA. He says fixing the issue is of major importance to his agency, but wouldn't detail the possible health concerns it brings to residents. When we see high levels of uh, these particular chemicals, it represents a potential exposure issue over time. What the EPA wants to do is test out the vapor levels in these area homes. If the area seems to have high levels, what they're going to do is add in a vapor mitigation system, which would help keep the levels low that you're breathing in sucks the air from out underneath the building and puts it, vents it out to the atmosphere so that it doesn't accumulate. I want them here now. The sooner the better. Here at the Farlands home, gardening season is still far away. But moving forward, it may need to stop. I'm honestly terrified because if it's in the groundwater and what if it's in our soil and it's going up into our food and then like we're eating that stuff. If we would have known that there was this kind of concern, we would have honestly just bought one elsewhere. Reporting in Bellevue, Phil Bergman, 3 News Now. The EPA is currently in the process of requesting permission to test out sites. The goal is to know how far the contamination has spread and how dangerous it may be for residents in roughly a year.